Welcome back to the Herd at Sports Show, live from Summit League Media Day. Anna Bellinghouse and Avery Howard, Missy Heydrich alongside with you. And now our new guest, Ruth Sin, out of St. Thomas, head coach, 19th season for you. What's been your early on impression of this team you have this year? Excited about this year. It's the first year where our upperclassmen outnumber our underclassmen. So we've kind of been the babies, and we've been babies in a very, very experienced league. Um, their freshman year, I think we were going against 25-year-olds with six years' experience, <laughs> and it's just, you know, it's it, it, it was difficult. And even year two, it, this league is so... Um, exceptional in talent and strong women as far as how they play the game, their experience level, and just their knowledge base. And so we've been taking notes, and I think our young ladies are ready to live into year three and try to become, you know, a little bit of what they witnessed from the Summit League and their participants. This is, um, as you look at everything for you guys over the last couple of years, is kind of a first, right? First mm -hmm. season, first this. Last year, you come in here, you get the first win at the Division One level, first Summit League tournament win in this building when you beat Western Illinois. What sort of momentum does that do? How do what does that do for you? As you look and you have that conversation, not only with your returners, but with recruits, and you kind of think about this is the environment that we want to live in. We want to keep playing on the next day and the next day when you come back here. What does that do for your program as a whole? No, exactly. I We talk to our young ladies all the time, and especially these young ladies that are wearing the jersey right now. Their postseason experience is the Summit League Tournament. Uh -huh. This is our Super Bowl right now, and it is phenomenal. Yeah. But with that, we talk much more about significance and that they get to do something that nobody else gets to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you sign up to be in a program and you're following the path of people before you. These young ladies, they get to be the pioneers. Mm -hmm. They get to wear the jersey, set the standards for people who are going to come back and they're going to say, I'm going to be saying, hey, the reason we achieved this was because of what you did yeah. and the impact you made to our program. And our young ladies have really been just buying in with their whole heart about what our standards are about, how we wear the jersey, what we want to be about, and what our why is. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really been a really great group to work with because I think they really understand the significance and the impact that they can have. Because at the end of the day, when it's the game is done, yeah, it really isn't about the success. It's about the significance. Mm -hmm. And I think these young ladies are, I know they're going to continue to come together even when they aren't wearing the jerseys and they're going to remember the things that they did and they accomplished. And I told them I'll be the first one to be calling them <laughs> when we're starting to do some of those things. Yeah. And I'm going to thank them because mm -hmm. they're the ones that had the vision. They bought into it and they really committed to it. So it's going to be fun. When you think about this group on the floor and as you've been going through practices over the summer, the fall, now that you're into it, just a few weeks out from the regular season, you were second in the league last year in scoring defense, held teams at just under 65 a game, but also struggled at times to score the basketball. Right. So where's that balance now with this roster and what you've been implementing and really focusing on when you get in the gym? Yeah, that's, you know, sometimes as you're trying to prepare, you got to be in a rock fight. <laughs> and I think uh, there was times where that was the, our, our best mode of operation with yeah. that. We're hoping to expand that. We still want to be defensive minded. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're, we're still going to be really stingy on that area, but we're hoping to expand offensively. The nice thing offensively, I think, is our players have matured to the point where we have a couple of players that mm -hmm. can create opportunities. They can be content creators for other people on our team. Okay. And so we've been really working on putting them in a position to really understand how we play off of each other. I think you saw a little bit of it at the end of the season. Yeah. You know, we kind of finished the season on a very strong note, I think winning, you know, seven out of our last eight or mm -hmm. so. And I think we're going to continue that through because I think they're just coming to that next step of, hey, I think I can do this and I know I can add value to our team this way. And experience has to help with that. As you Definitely. said, they're young. And so now these younger kids are a year older. Your freshmen are sophomores, your sophomores are juniors. Right. They've been through the grind a little bit. They've seen it and they're going to understand what it really takes to go get a tough win on the road and to hold home court. You know how important that is in the mm -hmm. Summit League. Oh, there's no question. And, and that's our theme is our theme is about clarity and alignment 
but even more importantly, consistency. And you saw that in our team. You know, there were even games where we were getting a big lead, and then all of a sudden the second half, it's like we're holding on for dear life. <laughs> and it's like, okay, can we just get consistent for 40 minutes? Yes. Maybe we'll start with 40 minutes, and then we can expand it. But mm -hmm. we've been really emphasizing that consistency in our practices and the way that we approach with our effort, our engagement, all those things with that. And, and they've responded. That's great. You have an older roster, like you said, this year. And also coming off how the way the season ended last year, how do you think having that experience and also just the momentum from last season has really just pushed this off season for what St. Thomas wants to be this year? I really do think it has been very, you know, beneficial in that they now get that. Yeah. You know, your, your freshman and sophomore year, sometimes it's just about where do I fit in? And it, that's a lot of eyes. It's a little bit of a blur. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct. And, and, and you got to get to the point, it isn't about I anymore. It's about the team needs this and we need this. And these are the standards that we have. And we have a big saying that it's standards over feelings. And the girls are really leaning into that and taking that next step. And I think they're ready to serve Maggie. Negard was a phenomenal player with us. And you saw her development. Mm -hmm. Her junior year was a little bit more about what her role was. Her senior year, it was just about what we need as this team. What is it that's important right now? And so we're hoping that our upperclassmen will all take that same step she took and just really own the program. Coach, before we wrap things up with you, what does success look like for St. Thomas this year, just in its third year in Division One? You know, I, it, success is always funny because there's so many different areas that you can talk about. I always talk about significance. And at the end of the day, I want this to be about building strong, confident women. But on the court, there is that success aspect. And, you know, even when we were in Division Three, and we were at the top of our game and the top of the league and the top of the nation, it was all about making sure we can live into our potential. Every single day, our biggest competitor is going to be us. Now, don't, I, I mean, I, we're watching all these teams around here, <laughs> SDSU, we're studying them because, again, you know, you, you learn from the best. Mm -hmm. But we also need to really continue to live into our potential and how do we maximize our potential. And I think that's where we're going to really look at is if we can look at it and say, hey, we gave everything we had because, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of times is if you leave everything on the court, you're you're usually pretty pretty much on top with that. So we're we're looking forward to that day. It seems like you've had a lot of sayings. There's a lot of things that this this team lives by. Is there like a motto for this season? We're still kind of working on our themes. We have themes. You're definitely <laughs> yeah. right. We definitely like, we have a pyramid, but I, I, again, we're trying to have it be theirs. And you know, I think sometimes as coaches, you know, you kind of pick your motto and stuff, but it, it's not the players. And, and we really do want a players coach team. Now, I get the last say. Buck stops with you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get the last say. But we do want them to feel that engagement and that ownership with that. And so right now they're, they've kind of got a couple of them that they're thinking about. We've, we've got a meeting coming up just to decide, you know, what is there something that's going to really drive us towards we know that. I'm excited now. Well, we talked to Jade Hill next, so <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to ask get, her. We'll have to well, crack her down yeah. on that list. And, she's going to get that those. question now. She, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> she, she absolutely will. I think she's nervous now. <laughs> She'll do great. She's She is a great representative of our institution, and, you know, she she does it with such humility. You know, she's, she's working on becoming a little bit stronger voice, but she's a great lead-by-example leader. Well, Coach, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck this season, and we'll talk to Jade Hill next. Well, thank you thank very you. much. Yeah, good luck this season.